Whatever your room wants to be, your wish comes true. And then some. Wow! I felt like a weight was lifted off of me. I love it. Did we do well? And I know that my girls will forever be changed. <laughs> I would tell other people that I got like the best room ever thanks to Savvy Giving <clears throat> for doing it for me. And they'd probably be jealous knowing that I'd have the coolest room. It's a princess bed I actually am under under because sometimes I have a because I have a soft mean bag. And you get to read bed. books? Yes. What do you do under the bed? Sometimes I, one time I actually napped. <laughs> <laughs> Savvy Giving by Design is a national nonprofit founded in San Diego in late 2014. We make over children's spaces that have been facing a medical crisis, most often cancer, but not always. We work with children that are in a medical crisis through trauma-informed design where our intent is to make over the space to give them the best possible chance for healing and recovery and to be comfortable in their new normal. Jonah had been sick for two or three days. My husband and I are both nurses. We decided let's just bring him to the urgent care just maybe just to get checked out. The doctors had thought maybe he was a sick kid with other illnesses and we said no, he is otherwise healthy. He's had a cold during the, the history of being in the ICU that his body and his genes had mutated and he developed a blood disease called HLH and it's an autoimmune disease where his body and his blood cells attack itself. My name is Trisha. This is Malachi on July 3rd of 2020 right in the heart of COVID Malachi had a non-fatal drowning accident as a result of that drowning, Malachi now has a spastic quad cerebral palsy. Um, he's nonverbal, non-mobile. Hi, my name is Peter. Uh, my daughter is Kimmy. Uh, she was diagnosed with neuroblastoma in 2010 at uh, the age of four. Um, for the next eight and a half years of her life, she uh, fought a brave battle um, with about four relapses and uh, wide assortment of treatment and everything like everything else but um, in late 2018 things kind of uh, took a turn where unfortunately the cancer started to really take over and we were out of any treatment op options so um, at that point we had discontinued all treatment and in January of 2019 um, sadly Kimmy passed away at the age of uh, 12 and a half. A lot of people don't realize that a child that's in a medical crisis may not spend as much time in the hospital as we think. They actually spend quite a bit of time at home. And a room traditionally is a place of comfort and a place of healing. And what we're trying to do as designers is come in and bridge that gap between the time that they have to spend at the hospital to the time that they're in their rooms. And what are we doing to make that room as healthy as it can be, as safe as it can be, and an opportunity for them to heal as quickly as possible and to go through all of the things they're gonna be going through uh, during this journey. So we are a small part of that but our intent is to give them a space to heal, to be comfortable, to spend time with their family and friends because studies have shown that the environment that we live in contributes up to 30% of our healing. We talk about how this became a, a healing oasis for her, a, a place of comfort, a place of joy that she could go to you know, when she was not feeling well, or even when she was doing great, it was always a source of comfort. And after Kimmy passed, the room kept doing that. And it transitioned from being a place of comfort for Kimmy to being a place of comfort for me. He was so happy to celebrate his birthday with the new room. And the following week, Jonah went into surgery and all he kept thinking about was being at home with his brothers and healing in his room. He was so excited. Actually, that was his motivation in the hospital. Right after surgery, 
uh, with his amputation, he wanted to get up. He wanted to start walking. He wanted to do what he wanted to do and needed to do to get home to have his complete healing in his own space. When I was going through treatment, having my room redone made such an impact on my life and the way in which I healed. I remember when I was first diagnosed and I was going through chemo and my room was just a very dark and not comfortable place. So I would come home from an already dark hospital and I would come back to a room that just wasn't relaxing and wasn't comfortable. And when I got my room redone, I finally had a space where I could come back from being in this gray and bleak hospital and come back to this vibrant room where I just honestly had a space where I could just totally relax and start to heal from my chemotherapy. Well, it is really funny though how much ownership she's taken of her room where she just loves her room so much that she wants to take good care of it. She makes sure that she cleans it and organizes it. And at that time of treatment, Karina was getting a lot of medicines that didn't make her feel good. So it really was so uplifting to see how happy she was. It's a very difficult for either of us to want to leave her room. It's just such a beautiful space. And um, we, we've spent so many hours in there because part of her treatment is really staying isolated. I like going in my bed sometimes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's in here? Tell me about your bed. I feel like a princess, <laughs> and I love going to sleep because it's very, very soft. <laughs> when I saw Julius's room, I thought that was also as cool as mine because it had uh, LED lights you can move around the whole room, and it had uh, the bed was in the middle of the room like mine as well. Savvy Giving by design, we also include siblings in our room makeovers. A lot of times the siblings don't really know where to find themselves in a family dynamic, and they're struggling too in trying to help their sibling heal. So by providing a modified room makeover, we give them also the best chance for supporting their siblings and being a part of that family dynamic. Just the real impact this makes on a whole family. It's healing for everybody involved. It's been really remarkable to, and eye-opening for me to know that design can have that kind of impact. It's been amazing. When Malachi was in the hospital and everything was being renovated, the details were taken care of. Um, that is just mind-bogglingly important. My mind could focus on Malachi and Malachi's healing and my older siblings and being able to love and care for them. And I didn't have to worry about a single thing. I thought it was going to be just like a new bed and just an under bed and an area for me to sleep. It was like, a, like as if I was in a dream because I had like the best bed ever. And also it had a pullout bed underneath and I had the best TV as well. In addition to national chapters for Savvy Giving by Design, we've developed a pop-up design program where we partner and train with other designers nationally to have them make over children's spaces, either virtually or in person, either partnered with Make-A-Wish um, to all their national chapters, um, or doing it on their own. Uh, we want to support this collaboration amongst designers so that we can get as many children served by having a healing space as possible. Anything from just having a handicap accessible shower in his bedroom um, to having space that functions and not just is square footage, but have it really, really function um, not just for our family, but for his needs. I, I honestly don't know how we would be able to function without it. I don't think words can describe it. It was just overwhelming in the most amazing way. I mean, we had been massively overwhelmed in in probably the most heartbreaking ways you possibly can. And then God used some amazing people to overwhelm us in all sorts of other ways and to really show us that we weren't alone. At a very, very dark point in our journey, um, Susan was able to even again 
you know, bring light and joy into Kimmy's life. And, you know, that's something that um, you cannot put a price on. And, and as a parent, um, I, will, I will cherish that for the rest of my life. I mean, it, it, it's a gift. We need savvy givers to contribute to this organization nationally in addition to your local communities. We want to train other designers to do what we're doing here in San Diego and to get them out there making over kids' rooms that are in a medical crisis nationally. We want to contribute, have Savvy Givers contribute through our fund needs on our social media pages where they are contributing the sheets and the pillows and the lamps and art supplies. We need cash donations to continue to administer the resources to these children for the flooring and the lighting and all of those kind of non-fun things. You know, go to uh, your local, you know, your social media pages, share our page, uh, share our website, share our mission so that we can be in each and every state and helping as many children as we can. Make the most of life enjoyable for you. you can do despite what you go through good things come to those who wait on miracles but mainly those who believe in themselves I promise you no matter what you'll find paradise that'll keep that smile lasting when all seems very dumb, just know we'll stand by you forever.